Hey guys, uh, a lot of you have probably been having issues and so on with uh, this build right here, the Schism All-in-One TV build. Uh, reason being is, is a lot of the add-ons have moved uh, to newer repos, uh, Zen has been changed to Asylum, and so on. Uh, there was just a build update release for this build yesterday, everything is fully up to date, you shouldn't have no more problems and all that once we get you updated. So the first thing that you need to do is go ahead and open up your Cody. Uh, let this build fully load up, meaning wait until you see the movie posters uh, show up across the screen. Once you do see that, you just want to go over to let's see. You want to go over to where it says version. On some of your all's boxes, it's going to say version 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Uh, mine's already up on the latest. Uh, update but i'm going to show you and walk you through everything of how to get yours onto version 0 0.9 so what you need to do as soon as you click uh, highlight it go ahead and click it it's going to bring this up the first thing that you need to do is go to this website at the very bottom either on your phone or computer uh, don't worry it's 100 percent safe you just need to go there to get the code in order to update the build so i'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and show you how to put in the code Okay, so as soon as you go to that side and you get the four-digit code, what you want to do is go up to Settings. Then you want to go down to Code and click it. Uh, if there's a code already in there, just delete it. But once you get that four-digit code, just put it in. Once you do that, just click Done. Then go down to OK. Now once you do that, just go up to Install slash Update. Now I was going to have you guys just override it. But where your guys are probably uh, behind on a couple of updates, reason being is, is I didn't want you guys to have to keep updating. I wanted to wait until everything was back to normal. So what you need to do now is once you click on install slash update, you want to go down to Schism TV All-in-One Krypton Edition version 0 0.9. Click it. Uh, it's going to bring this up. Just click yes. And then when it brings you here, just go ahead and go down to or over to full. Highlight it and click it. It's going to bring this up. Would you like to, uh, you're using, you're not using the default Cody scan. Just click yes. It's going to change the scan. And then it's going to start doing the process. Uh, depending on your internet connection, it could take at the most maybe three minutes for what it's doing now. Um, but majority of the times, it usually just takes up to two minutes. What it's doing now, it's installing the uh, new update. Uh, once it does this process, it's going to copy everything over to your Kodi, which you'll see here just momentarily. So now it's extracting all the files. It's putting the build on to Cody as we speak. Uh, it usually doesn't take long. I want to say just a few minutes at the most. Uh, if mine finishes before yours does, just hit pause until you're done, and then just hit play again on the video. Okay, so it's going to say the scan will now be reset. Just click OK. So once it brings you back here, what you need to go up, uh, need to do is go up to the settings wheel, which I have highlighted right here. Click it. 
then go down to interface settings uh, it's going to have scan highlighted just click over to the right one time it's going to highlight scan and you're going to see at the very end uh, right there what you need to do is just click it and then go down to schism anniversary edition click it it's going to bring this up just click yes and then hit your back button until it brings you back here now once you see these gray boxes show up it might take up to a minute or so on uh, your box uh, go ahead and restart your box turn it uh, turn it off turn it back on and then open up your um, schism build So once you turn off your box, turn it back on, just go over how you would to open up Cody usually. Uh, again, it's always going to clean the uh, packages and cache on every fresh start. Uh, give it up uh, just a few minutes in case if there's any updates uh, for it to pop up and all that. Once you see uh, the movie posters pop up across your screen, uh, we need to go ahead and adjust a few settings because everything is kind of like a new uh, fresh install. So what we need to do is go over to settings. And the first thing you want to do is go up to player. Uh, it's going to have videos highlighted. Just click over to the right. Go to adjust display uh, refresh rate. You want to change that to always, which mine's already set. And then you want to hit your back button. And then you want to go to add-ons. My add-ons, which is already going to be highlighted. Click up one time and it's going to take you to the bottom and go up to video add-ons. Highlight and click it. Uh, what we need to do now is we need to adjust the settings for Asylum, Exodus, and uh, so on. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do Asylum first. You're going to click it. It's going to bring this box up. Just click configure. Uh, it's going to have the general tab highlighted. What we need to do is go down to provider timeouts, highlight and click it, and change that from 45 to 25. Then you want to go up and go over to the playback tab and go down with hosters with captures and turn that off. Uh, what that does is like some of you guys have said, you go to click on a source uh, for a movie or TV show and it brings up a thing for you to go to the site and pair your device. So turning off hosters with captures, that'll take that off so you won't have any more issues with that. Uh, once you turn that off, just go down and click OK. Hit your back button one time, then go down to Exodus. This will pop up. Just click Configure like you did with Asylum. Uh, you want to change the provider timeouts. Uh, if it's not already set at 20, you want to click on it and change it from 30 seconds to 20. Then you want to go over to Playback and then go down to Hosters with Captures. If it has a blue dot uh, at the end of it, just highlight it, click it, it'll take that dot. Once you do that, just go down to OK and click it. OK, so uh, for some reason, the guy that uh, made this build, he didn't put Asylum under the TV show tabs or movies. So what we need to do is we need to add Asylum to your TV show and movie tabs. So what we're going to do is just go back to settings, highlight and click it, go down to interface. Uh, it's going to have scan highlighted, just click over to the right one time and then go down to configure scan, click it. Then you want to go to main menu options, highlight it, click over to the right once, it's going to highlight choose which items to display on the main menu, just highlight, click it. And then we want to click over to the left one time and then highlight TV shows. Once we do that, we want to click over to the right and go down to customize sub menu. Click over to the left once and it's going to highlight this section. This is everything that's under that uh, movies uh, tab on your main menu of your Cody build. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to replace SOTS with the new Asylum, which used to be Zen. So we're going to highlight, click, uh, highlight it, click over to the uh, right one time. It's going to highlight choose item for menu, click it. You want to go down to add-on, then video add-on, and then we want to look for the asylum. Highlight and click it. It's going to bring this up. Just go down to create menu item to here. So as you see, it just replaced SOTS with the new uh, asylum that used to be Zen. Once it does that, hit your back button once. It's going to bring you back here. Just click over to the left. 
then go down to movies and do the same thing go over to customize sub menu then we're going to replace SOTS uh, with the new uh, with the asylum that used to be Zen so once you highlight SOTS just click over to the right one time go down to video add-ons or add-ons then video add-ons look for that asylum It'll bring this up again. Just uh, choose the box that says create menu item to here. And as you can see, it just replaced it. Okay, so we got uh, all that taken care of. Uh, what we want to go ahead and do now is uh, install Stream Hub to your build. Uh, only takes just a few minutes. So what you want to do is highlight settings, but don't click it. Then you want to click down and then go over to file manager. It's going to bring this up just click up one time and then it's going to highlight that at the bottom add source once it does that just click your ok button it's going to bring this up and now in this first box we need to put in that web link uh, for the repo to install the stream hub so we're just going to highlight click it it's going to bring this keyboard up and just punch in exactly what i'm punching in slash forward slash archive dot org forward slash download forward slash repository dot stream hub so again put in exactly as you see in this box right here and I will put the uh, web link in the description uh, below the video so once you put this in just go down and click done uh, just leave uh, the repository dot stream hub as the media source go down and click OK once you do that uh, hit your back button one time it's going to bring you back to settings where it's highlighted once you see that it's highlighted just click OK go over to add-ons then install from zip we want to look for that repository dot stream hub folder that we just created which is right there once you see it just highlight it and click it then go down to repository dot stream hub dot zip highlight and click it what it's doing now is in, is installing that repository so we're able to install the stream hub that's inside of it. Once you see the box on the bottom right hand corner that the repository add-on was installed, you want to go up to install from repository. Look for the stream hub repository, highlight and click it. Then go to video add-ons. And then go down to stream hub, highlight and click it. Then click install. Once it says that the add-on was installed, uh, just go ahead, once you see enabled at the end of it, just go ahead and click it again and go up to configure. Go over to playback. Uh, if you see a dot inside of hosters with captchas, uh, just highlight it, click it, it'll take that dot out. And then we wanna go over to provider times out, uh, provider timeout. Uh, if it's already at 10 seconds, just highlight, click it and change it from 10 seconds to 20 seconds once you do that just click up go over to accounts and then go uh, down to OK and click it so now we need to add it under your movies and TV show tabs so once you do all that what you want to do is just go back to your main menu of Cody uh, it's going to have settings highlighted just click it go down to interface like we did uh, just a little while ago uh, it's going to have scan highlighted just go over uh, to the right one time and go down to configure skin then down to menu options click over to the right one time it's going to highlight that just click OK click over to the left to highlight the section over to the left so we're going to uh, add it under the TV shows and movies tab so what we need to do is highlight TV shows click over to the right go down to customize sub menu and we're going to change uh, we're going to replace specto with the stream hub so just highlight Specto, then click over to the right. It's going to highlight Choose Item for Menu. Then go down to Add-on, then Video Add-on. And Stream Hub's at the bottom, so just click. Uh, it's going to have you here. Just click up one time. It's going to bring you to the bottom of the list. Just go over up to Stream Hub. Click it. It's going to bring this up. Just highlight Create Menu Item to here. So as you've seen, it just replaced Specto with Stream Hub. So once we do that, we need to go uh, back one time, click over to the left, and then go over to Movies, then click over to the right, Customize Submenu. As you can see, there's Specto, so just highlight Specto, then go over to the right one time, click uh, Choose Item for Menu, go down to Add-on, click it, then Video Add-on, and then we want to uh, 
replace that specto with stream hub. So we'll just highlight, click it. And then again, just highlight, create menu item to here, click it. And then that's it. Uh, for those of you that use uh, Gears TV, uh, I will send you just uh, I will send you the link uh, to the video on how to add it to your build. Uh, it's very easy, as you just seen. We just added Stream Hub, but now as you can see under the Movies and TV Show tabs, uh, we now have Exodus, Asylum, and Stream Hub. Uh, Bob is even good for your movie add-ons and uh, TV shows, and then as well, it's it's under the TV shows. Uh, for the most part, Exodus is pulling uh, sources like it should, but it's not fully up to date. Uh, the News In, which is now Asylum, uh, it's pulling sources like it should. And then as well as uh, StreamHub, their library sources is fully up to date. So uh, I would definitely recommend using either StreamHub or Asylum for your movies and TV shows. Uh, one more thing, uh, what you want to do is you want to adjust the audio offset. Uh, for your movies and TV shows and as well as live TV. So what you need to do is just open up, say, just Stream Hub. What we need to do is just play a movie or TV show. So we'll, I'll just click on Movies, Popular. Do, do, do. Uh, now I'm just going to click on a movie just to get something to play so we can adjust the audio offset. Just click on the, one of the top sources. Go ahead and click pause. Uh, so once the movie or TV show starts playing, what you want to do is go over to the little uh, volume speaker icon, highlight and click it. Then you want to go down to audio offset, highlight and click it. And start clicking to the right until it's at point or uh, 0 0.200. Once you see that, just hit your back button one time. Then you want to go down to enable uh, subtitles, highlight and click it to take that dot away. And then go down to set uh, as default for all media. Click it. It's gonna ask, it's gonna tell you this. Are you sure? Just click yes. And then that's it. Uh, everything seems to pretty much be up to date. You shouldn't have any more issues or anything like that. Uh, so for those of you that have Gears TV that use it, uh, please message me on my Facebook business site. I will send you the link on how to install the Gears TV to your uh, new add-on or. Uh, newly updated build. Thanks.